Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Fifth generation fighter aircraft is all about stealth or art of being invisible. But the question is invisible from what? There are few important factors that comes into play when we talk about stealth which are heat signatures or infrared signatures, emission of visible light, radio frequency, waves and audio signals. The India's indigenous fighter jet Amka will incorporate features like serpentine air intake to reduce the infrared signature, internal weapons bay, aligned edges and heavy use of radar absorbent material to provide it the desired stealth characteristic. The divertless supersonic inlet DSI with serpentine ducts will conceal the engine fan blades to reduce its infrared signature. Absence of canards unlike J-20 will further improve the stealth characteristic of AMCA. The shape of AMCA looks like the shoulder-mounted diamond-shaped trapezoidal wing that will assist in reducing the drag at supersonic speeds with edges aligned for aiding the stealth characteristics. The fuselage has facet design with the heavy use of indigenously developed radar absorbent material. AMCA will have overall length of 17.6 meter and wingspan of 11.13 meters. It will have maximum takeoff weight of 55,000 kg with max weapons payload capacity of 6,500 kg. The maximum speed of fighter jet is going to be 2,600 km per hour or Mach 2.15 with combat range of 1,620 km and service ceiling of 20 km. The cost of first 5 fighter jet is going to be 15,000 crore rupees. MK is going to be a swing roll fighter jet which means it can change its role during a mission. For example, MK can switch from air to air to air to ground mission when needed. MK will have all state-of-art weapons at its bay, making it a formidable fighter in the air. It will be equipped with 23mm cannon. Some of the deadliest weapons that will be carried by this fighter are Brahmos NG for air-to-surface attack, Astra variants for air-to-air -air combat. It will feature Astra Mark III powered by SFDR technology having range in excess of 350 km. Rudra M-series anti-radiation missile is going to be another lethal weapon in MK for said mission which will be double trouble for adversaries as it will be a combination of stealth and anti-radiation missile. Beside these prominent weapons, MK will also carry anti-tank missiles, laser guided bombs and precision munition. It will have 14 hard points where it can carry 6500 kg of weapons payload. In a stealth mode, MK will carry only weapons in its internal weapon bay, having total payload capacity of 1500 kg where it can carry 4 missiles. In non-stealth mode, the aircraft will carry 6500 kg of weapons including internal weapons bay and external pylons. MK's fuel capacity is also 6500 kg which is almost more than 2.5 times of LCA which has fuel capacity of 2400 kgs. MK is being designed to have first look first kill capability. To achieve this, MK will feature long range radars and sensors with extended range. The three most important sensors of MK are going to be Uttam Mark II AAC radar, F-35 like EOTS and integrated electronic warfare suite. The distributed passive sensors with artificial intelligence assisted multi-sensor data fusion will increase the situational awareness of the pilots. The system will work in tandem with advanced electronic warfare subsystems. The early warning systems and network centering warfare capability of MK is further going to increase the coordination among the pilots. The advanced situational awareness in MK is achieved through multi-spectral sensors placed across the airframe of fighter which will allow the fighter to have 360 degree of visibility without maneuvering the fighter. This is an important characteristic of MK which will enable the first look, first kill capability. MK pilots will be able to detect and destroy the adversary's fighter jet without revealing their presence to the opponents. MK will also have a 3D audio warning system in the cockpit 
and voice activated commands which will reduce the workload of the pilots. Emka will have a glass cockpit equipped with a wide panoramic touchscreen display for enhanced man machine interaction, a multifunctional display placed in portrait orientation, and a wide angle holographic heads up display or HUD. The MK will have hands on throttle and stick hotas arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle settings to ease the pilot workload. ADA will develop five prototypes of MK for flight testing, which will cost close to 900 crore rupees each. However, this cost will further reduce when the fighter jet will enter into the full fledged production. Since MK is an indigenous fighter, it would be still 50 to 60% cheaper than the imported fighters in its category. As we already know that HAL in association with ADA has started the manufacturing activities of AMCA and the critical design review is expected later this year. As per the latest report from the project director of AMCA, ADA is still waiting for CCS approval and the first AMCA rollout will be around 2026 and serial production by 2032. The Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. The Mark I variant of AMCA will be powered by two G F414 INS6 turbofan engines capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter super cruise ability, that is, cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. Apart from engine, the Mark I will also feature an imported ejection seat. However, the other components, which includes sensor, avionics, and flight control system, are going to be indigenous, which is going to increase the percentage of indigenous components in the fighter to 70%. The introduction of indigenous engine in MK Mark II will increase its indigenous content to 90%. MK Mark II will feature indigenous 125 kN class engine to be developed jointly by DRDO and Safran, which is expected to be ready in the next 7 to 8 years. MK Mark II is also expected to have some 6th generation technology such as direct energy weapons and ability to launch unmanned aerial systems. Due to much powerful engine, the fighter jet will be able to cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.